quick question. What do you get when you fit a 90mm auto-loading gun on a chassis with absolutely no armor but brilliant mobility? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've guessed it correctly, you get the Lorraine 40T tank. And that one is currently available in World of Tanks Blitz, so let's take a closer look. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. My name is Martin Dogger and I'm really excited to have you here on this review of the finisher which is a French tank not a Finnish one and it's the Lorraine 42. Four shot auto loading medium tank. You could argue and with history uh, backing us up this is indeed was a competitor to the AMX 50 series so it could be regarded as an AMX 50 100 uh, but with even less armor this one really has got no armor at all um, or an AMX 3090 on steroids but without the light tank camouflage rating but it's got a four shot auto loader so in that regard it's a tank a premium medium tank at tier 8 that offers something that no other tanks currently offer in the game at least as a premium tank and that immediately brings me to the question is this tank worth the money uh no it's not come on wargaming 70k of gold that's for a tier 8 that's a lot it's that's really a lot it's big fun make no mistake about it this tank is really really big fun because of the autoloader obviously but it also is a tank that is hard to play because it has no armor and for 70k of gold even if you get full uh, equipment slots unlocked and there are no timers anymore yeah you can get a, a t26 e4 and the arc 8.8 and the or a lerbe and a e4 or t34 and, and the lerbe or whatever any type of premium tank tech tree premium tank you can buy them and then you would still have gold left but this is really fun to do just drive around and then pick up tanks kill tanks that are one shots to you because do it. yes do it. i will and then you move on you have two left in the clip <laughs> and you've killed two of them and suddenly you won the town you've got a and b captured and you bump into a yak panther but then you're still thinking right there's a yak tiger which i've tracked before and he's at 194 hit points, which means yes, we get to take him out. And then you bugger off. I've lost half my hit points when I encountered that E50 and AMX 1390 and the T54. But this is what you have to do with the tank. You have to just yeah unload and then go to a safe spot and uh, reload and finish off tanks that are on low health, where you're just busy uh, running away basically, which is why i compared the tank earlier to the amx 1390 you can see in terms of mobility it's really easy to keep up you are so quick you can pop uh, speed boost as well yes yeah, not a lot you can't pop adrenaline and i wouldn't recommend to use uh, the vents i'll get to that later in the stats and numbers as well but it's a really fun tank uh, to play and this was an easy top gun medal uh three shots reaper medal as well and only a second class because of Poultry damage, nothing in particular done. Thank you very much, skill stealing. But this is what you can do with an autoloader. The autoloader is what makes the tank combined with the mobility. It's a really good flanking tank. So let's take a quick look at the full stats and numbers. And this time we're going to use tank compare because I wanted to show the Lorraine against a lot of the other tier 8 premium tanks. And this is only the mediums. And you can already see I had problems. Picking tanks I wanted to compare because there are so many tier A premium tanks currently available. Uh, I just couldn't fit them all. I decided to add the AMX, the M4A1, the Ravioli and the FCMS there, uh, in there as well. Uh, T26E4 Super Pershing because that's available from the tech tree. And then the T34-3, the uh, Mod 1 and the Panther 8.8. And if you then look at it in terms of DPM, this is a really bad tank. You don't, it's not a DPM tank. None of the uh, autoloaders are. So if you are looking for a tank which you can use to just drive in and shoot the enemy to oblivion, you have to look somewhere else. It's not as bad as the T34-3, but 1770 is not brilliant. 225 in terms of alpha, which is about on par. The T34-3 has it a bit better, so does the Ravioli. But this tank 
does shine in penetration. It's, it's good at 212. I would recommend if you look at this to fit the calibrated shells. I mean, Rama, oh, only 30 DPM extra. That's not a lot. It's really not a lot. Just add the calibrated shells that will boost your penetration to 223 and your AP shot to 272. That's good. That's something you really need against the higher tier tanks as well. Weapon handling. Not bad. It's an auto loader, so aim time isn't as brilliant as the AMX uh, CDC or the T34 3, but it's about on par with the rest of the tank, so I can live with that. Dispersion, fine. Rotation, uh, dispersion on movement and rotation, it's good. 8 degrees of gun depression, really funky uh, to work with as well. But like I said, this tank excels at the movement and mobility part. Not as good as the AMX CDC. I can't play that tank because it's way too quick for me. But the power to weight ratio of this tank is pretty good. It's far better than the Super Pershing. Look at that, 50% more in terms of power to weight ratio. You also have a fairly good Nomad Traverse. It doesn't look that brilliant actually, but I found it to be, well, better than it is on paper. But this, this tank it is really about the mobility. Hit point pool is nice, view range nice, but yeah, the armor, uh, no, what armor? Except the CDC has it worse, but every tank is a lot better in terms of armor. This tank just hasn't got any armor. It's a finisher. It's a clipper. You have to use it to get into a position where you can be successful. And I'm not, not even bothered to show the armor, really. And the reason for not showing the armor is because it's pretty much non-existent. Everything is in the range between 0 and 60. And unless you manage to get those angled front plates or the side plates or maybe some of the bits of the turret on a uh, on an auto bounce angle, any shot will penetrate. And the sides are really weak. You can get eight sheet in the sides by a KV2. Oh, KV2, not SU-152, <laughs> ISU-152, Object 704s, any tanks, and, and there are quite a lot of them on tiers seven, eight. And nine with big guns can penetrate you and really hurt you with HE. And like I said, there are a lot of things that can hurt you with HE. That said, you got four shots in the clip and you have really good mobility. So I decided to um, add this fun shits and giggles clip on Faust as well. Not because I play good, I play actually pretty bad. But this first shot goes in on the IU and there we ammo wrecking. <laughs> Why do we get 1301 in terms of uh, damage done actually? Was it because I detonated the ammo wreck or something? Yeah, all right. We've got uh, 1300 uh, damage done already. The tank is out. And you can see I'm reloading, I want to have a full clip because I'm thinking, uh, right, I can go on the flank now. This shot goes in on the Comet. And as long as you can keep your shots on target, and as long as you can keep shooting red tanks, you will also get things like this, those nice little full roll rolls. Don't shoot uh, the trains that are on the map. But it is a tank that has to be used um, wisely. That is about the clip, it's about the magazine, it, it's not about just running around and uh, yeah, damage trading really. It's not a good rammer either, you will lose hit points, uh, but you can see if you can then shoot tanks in the butt, you can do nice stuff. And I'm gonna run around here and then shoot one more into the comet and then I'll get whacked really bad and I was thinking here right I can move now move around and try to engage the tiger too and then I was thinking oh god this is I'm, I'm doing I'm going all the way yeah, I'm doing something wrong all right comet can I kill you this was just full YOLO mode <laughs> I'm going to survive here which is nothing that was done by me actually it's it's not good gameplay by me i'm gonna bounce a shot actually i'm not, not quite sure where i think it's on my front plate take a look yeah there it is yeah that was my was my right hand side front plate which was at such an angle that the tiger too with a really accurate gun bounced on me and left me on 15 hit points and i just went in guns blazing with this one and because i did that the team probably followed 
And I wouldn't advise to do this really. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get the Spartan medal because I think I managed to uh, bounce a shot and I managed to kill two tanks on my own as well, which were the Comet and the RU251. And yeah, ramming into the T34-2 was a good one as well. But yeah, it, this is not recommended gameplay at all, but I wanted to include the clip because of the YOLO mode and the ammo rack on the RU251. This game, however, the last one for today, uh, for this video, is proper Rain 40T gameplay. Supremacy match, top tier, Desert Sand, so I wanted to go... Uh, around a cap i wasn't quite sure what was going to happen i wanted to have a full clip loaded before i would engage any targets just not enough gun depression and enough showing of that uh, centurion mark one for me to be able to shoot him then there are tanks uh, on the other side i think that's a t34 dash, dash something yeah it is and uh, we can start work on shooting him as much as possible uh, get one shot in one track shot in as well and one bounce on his front plate and you can see what i'm doing here sizing up the competition going into a position where i can uh, hopefully help my friendly super pershing got around the panther 2 and only now am i reloaded because that reload is long it's really long and i think that is also one of the problems of the tank i mean 70k of gold for an auto loader which gives you 900 in the clip and then you get a 20 second reload and 2.5 seconds in between shots i'm actually thinking even if it's a clipper that wargaming might think right we're going to make this one just ever so slightly weak and you can see i'm going to bugger off i'm, I'm not going to sit here it just I've noticed there are tanks in the town area which are one clips to me. Maybe should have reloaded on that low because I bounced the shot and if I had it I would have been able to get him down at even more in terms of hit points. But this is actually a good one. I rush in. One shot in. The other one bounces but the next shot goes in as well. And then I can move around and then I can reset my camel hopefully. And by the time I'm ready to engage the next tank I've got a full clip in it. And there we go, fully reloaded. We bounce one on the tracks because uh, the lower doesn't aim properly. But now I can go in and nearly finish him off. SU 152 does. Good gameplay by you, actually, uh, mate. Well played. Because you were being harassed by an LTTB, but he was. He was focused on the minimap. He actually shot the tank that mattered most. Really well played, Mr. SU 152. So let's help you out there. I'm reloaded now. I'm gonna ram into that LTTB because I'm still reloading. But I track him in place. I'm tracked myself and I can finish him off. There we go. Two shots in, two left in the clip. Shall we reload fully? No, we don't need to get two left. Uh, we are going to use the gun depression and some wiggling and bouncing to track this tank in place. The T34 this one and even the other one goes in. And that means that it's 3 and 2 now. We should be able to do this. Because I have a full clip uh, left. Uh, that's the SU 152 down. That means it's 2 and 2. Can I reload? Can I reload? Can I reload? No, I can't reload. I'm not really have, not having much faith in the VK4503 because it's probably too slow. And that means I'm now fully reloaded. And I don't want into the ground. Oh, what a Muppet. What a Muppet. Um, aim properly. Track shot. One through his lower plate because I know his Amorak is there, but we only damage it. That's unfortunate. But I can now uh, move away. Let the VK4503 move in as well. Don't try. Don't get yourself isolated. You're an easy target for any tank, basically. 20 second reload, etc., etc. But if you have friendly teammates that can draw the attention of Reds and you have time to reload, then you can do this. Finish off. 4.2k damage done, uh, some bits in terms of ramen and lovely pumpkin camouflage as well. Looks good actually on test maps, yeah. I think it does. Mastery, 4.2k damage and I haven't mentioned it yet, it's a pretty good credit and 104k net income for 4k damage. Not too bad I guess. 3 spots, decent accuracy on this one and that's the mastery gameplay. So yeah, Lorraine. 40t not worth the money currently if you ask me 
I would wait. It will probably become available later again for a lower price tag. But if you want to drive it now, here's my quick summary. Use it to full effect to dunk 900 damage into reds as much as possible. Don't be afraid to let your teammates bleed. It may be a bit vampirish, it may not be appealing to all, but that's what you have to do because your tank has no armor whatsoever. Thank you very much for watching again. Like that, my name is Martin Dogger. I appreciate all the support, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers and happy tanking.